he would do well to think a lot and react a lot. <laughs> <laughs> he does not look intimidated, and, and you, see, you see Castro, He's got he likes it, as does Teo Stevenson. Actually, Teo doesn't seem as interested. <laughs> Teofilo Stevenson, three-time world and Olympic champion, and Felix Sabone there, himself a two-time world champion, has always been a little bit resentful of having to work in the shadow of Stevenson. Ever since he was 17 or 18 years old, people have been calling him the next Teofilo, and Felix resents it a little bit, trying to make a name for himself. The referee for the bout is Antonio Bernardo of Brazil, and this is the big bout. Savone in the blue, Briggs in the red. The Cubans have won nine goals to date with five of them by stoppage. If Shannon Briggs doesn't find a way, and it would be, you know, an, an upset of mind-boggling proportions, but if he doesn't find a way to win this bout, it will be the worst American showing in the Pan Am Games way back since 1951, which is they only had eight bouts in 1951, and uh, Argentina won all of them the first year. But since this really became the Pan Am Games as we know it, the, the least we've won, I believe, is two. So far, only the one by Steve Johnston. Briggs missing with a couple of jabs. Savone pumping his left jab as well. Felix Savone in the blue of Cuba. When you see him, you know, you heard Shannon say he looks a little uncoordinated. He is not a fluid boxer. He's got a, a phenomenal body. I mean, for any athlete, I mean, just incredible physique. But he does seem awkward and a little bit uncoordinated and stiff. There's nothing fluid about Felix. I mean, the biggest reason he's been able to establish such a reputation is the heavyweight division in amateur boxing just does not have very much talent in it and has not had any for a while. Alex, to take a trip down memory lane, the last American to win this weight class was Dwayne Bobbick back in 1971 in Cali, Colombia. And I'll give you one guess yeah. who he beat. I, I happen to know that because Dwayne is a good friend of mine. And the man he beat was Teofilo Stevenson, who then went on to beat Dwayne in 72 at the Olympics. Briggs very cautious here early in the first round. Shannon Briggs has become one of the villains here of the Cuban crowd because, because of his outward cheering for his teammates during some of their bouts. Savone hit him with a right, a glancing right. And that is the Savone power punch, as you saw on the replay with Lesbian. Savone's really done Shannon a favor here uh, by fighting such a, a slow pace and a controlled pace. There the right. Oh, and he goes down. End of control pace. <laughs> Hammer time in Havana. Shannon Briggs is in trouble. Yeah, no, stop this. He says he's all right. He said he hit me on the elbow. Shannon did not put his gloves up, and they did not stop it. Felix Savone registers the, registers the first decisive blow of the bout. The decisive is an understatement. Less than 30 seconds to go, and Briggs is out of it. He's out on his feet almost, Alex. They'll stop it. That's it. Yeah, Shannon just doesn't understand what he has to do in amateur boxing. He hasn't been around long enough. He was badly hurt by two power punches, and they're just not going to let it go. So Felix Savone makes it 10 golds for the Cubans. He ends it with 15 seconds to go in the first round. Shannon Briggs still protesting, though. Mm -hmm. Shannon was thinking, and Felix was punching. That is the fifth stoppage in the 11 finals so far by the Cubans. There's just been a phenomenal amount of bouts not going the distance here. They either being knockouts, referee stop contest. The percentage of short bouts here, let's get the decision. En esquina azul de Cuba, Félix Sabón. There's uh, Felix's little victory dance. He's still got his headgear on. Shannon Briggs has the haircut. Felix Sabone has a first round.